Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about an important component of React Redux architecture which is a middleware. Okay. So in our this diagram we have seen this earlier also we have added one more component here which is a middleware. Redux if we talk about simple Redux with React it is purely synchronous. Synchronous means you will send an action with some data, you, your reducer will check what is the action type, based on the action type it will create a new state, new state will be available in the store and all the subscriber will receive the new state. This is a synchronous flow which we can see. What about asynchronous things which are getting executed in React? Consider I am firing an API call and then I will be getting data and that data I will be passing. Redux is purely synchronous, it doesn't understand any asynchronous. What if in a particular action you need some API call? Right? In that case, your Redux or reducers will not be able to understand because reducers are pure JavaScript function. They, they understand only the action type and data which you are passing. They doesn't understand a sync await, promises, callback, anything. They doesn't understand all these things. So what we need to do? We need to have a middleware to extend the functionality of Redux in the asynchronous world. Asynchronous we are writing async await promises, executing multiple promises, one promise after another promise after another promise, there is a promise chain running promises in the parallel way, all these things we are doing. And in the real time application we need to fetch the data from the APIs. So how that will work with the current Redux architecture? We have a problem, right? So what we are doing is we are keeping reducers as a pure functions only. What we are saying is whenever there is a request going outside from the actions which had some kind of an API call, let's stop that at the middleware level. If your request has a promise, like you are making an API call and then sending the action in that, right? So we will stop it there and we'll say, okay, you are sending a promise. Reducers doesn't understand promises. Let's wait first to get that promise resolved. If that promise is resolved, you get the pure data, either error, either data from the response, response.data, response.error. That pure JavaScript object data only you will be sending to the reducers. And reducers will, based on the success, failure, will be updating the state and then that state finally will get updated or will be available in the Redux store. Okay, there are two ways. Either you make an API call once you receive the data then only trigger the action or if you want to make multiple actions, okay, fetch weather from weather map API. Then fetch weather success, weather failure. If you got the weather data then you will be calling one another API to get the temperature data to the historical data of the complete month there can be multiple calls you will be making you will be making in redux so how to deal with this asynchronous nature of calls so with the help of middlewares we will be extending the functionality of redux store these middlewares are nothing but like uh, we will be talking about redux tongue redux saga and all these mid middlewares are extending the redux and primarily some middleware like redux promise redux thunk they are helping us to deal with asynchronous requests coming because reducers doesn't understand asynchronous calls. So we need these middlewares to first wait for that promise to resolve then only pass the data retrieved from that promised resolution and rejection send that data further to the reducers and make that data available to the store. Okay. Now we talked about this reducers, we talked about these middlewares are some kind of a functions which are helping us to deal with asynchronous calls. There can be other type of middlewares, logger, which sometimes you wanted to log the current state and state which is going to be after the action is applied, right? So you can actually create a logger, logger middleware, which would, it will log the current state and the, the state which is going to be after action is applied. Redux Thunk is actually checking every action and it is checking do you have a promise in the action payload? If yes, let's wait for that promise to be resolved by making an API call, by waiting for that API call to get completed, resolved, rejected, then only send the data 
of that action object to the reducers okay we can understand this thing in terms of code till now we talked about that we can actually call create store method if i wanted to create a store sorry if i wanted to create a store then what i can do is i can call create store method okay and in the create store i can pass root reducer comma it has another second argument is the initial state okay so maybe i will have some initial state this is my initial state so i will be passing it you may have some big object as a initial state and the third thing is enhancer okay so third thing is enhancer which means sometimes while creating the store you have to create register all these middlewares we are talking about redux thumb saga logger right how you will enable all these middlewares in your application by registering that while creating a store so it actually nothing but uh, middleware okay you have to register all the middlewares which we are going to have like right? so you will be using apply middleware and you pass all the middlewares which you are going to use like i am going to use a logger middleware which i will write okay then you can actually pass this middleware as a third argument to the create store function cool now i mean you can just uh, use a provider tag in your render method provider you will get from redux and here in the store in the store you will pass this store object this is how it will work sorry for these typos okay this is the final jsx you will render and inside this you will render your root component right so this is how we are creating store earlier we are just calling create store passing root reducer but it takes three argument initial state if you want to initialize your state with something and these are the middlewares middlewares can be you can actually concat multiple middlewares there can be few middlewares are which are predefined like redux thumb redux saga you can also create your own middleware so here i can just actually create my own middleware it is just nothing but a function i will write the implementation of this later it actually takes multiple argument like you like logger what logger will do is logger will actually get the state from the store before dispatching the action and after dispatching the action so here you can actually have a store that we can write the implementation store dot get state so middleware like express middleware before handling the request we check something in the request and then we try to set something in the request and then we were calling next method right next function so first we are calling we are dealing with a store then we are passing next function and then finally we have action so it's like a curry function i have written in javascript nested three level deep down okay here you can write simple whatever you are executing this can be your simple logger function redux logger okay and then you are passing this logger as a middleware apply middleware and this middleware you are passing here right this is how you can actually create a simple middleware function okay here once our task is done we are calling next action right and it is taking to the reducers and all right so we will talk about these things so uh, let me just open slides there we can also talk about this so we already talked about you create a root reducer and then by calling root reducer you can actually pass that to the create store and your store is created right so this is how you can create a store second argument is the initial state and third argument is the apply middleware so here you will provide the the set of middlewares which you are using and this is the architecture you you can be using multiple middlewares together logger middleware uh, redux saga redux and all these middlewares together okay now if you see this you can create a simple logger middleware and you can actually pass this in the apply middleware right we will we will talk about the redux thumb redux saga and we will also use this logger middleware in our actual application 
how the logging is happening okay so this is the homemade middleware we created these are nothing but a curry function three level deep, deep down nesting logger is passing store and the next and then action and we are able to print the current state and the action okay and how we are applying this you can have a thunk which is a predefined middleware coming from a library and our own built logger which is a middleware we concat both of these and we are passing that into the apply middleware this is how we are using multiple middlewares together for our redux store this is how we have to create a store while creating store you have to register all these middleware together so that you know in my uh, actual application i should be able to use it my reducers should be able to deal with all these middlewares okay my if your actions contains a promise then this redux thumb will stop that request wait for until that promise is resolved then whatever the data you are getting that data it will send to the reducers okay this is all about uh, middlewares this is a third party middleware we are using similarly there is a redux saga redux promises redux thunk and one we have created our own homemade middleware okay thanks everyone